Hi folks, today we're going to look at Audio Cleaning Lab 2013, which is a pretty awesome piece of uh, Windows software designed for editing um, audio. Simple as that, really. Now I can probably hear you saying, oh, but we use Audacity because it's open source and it's free and all this kind of stuff, whereas this is a commercial product. But I'm going to just lay your fears to rest. This is probably the best tool I've ever found for doing audio editing. Um, it beats anything else out of, the, out of the ballpark. It's fast, it's easy to use, and more importantly, it's really effective. I've not seen anything as good at cleaning up audio, removing noise, hum, hiss, all that kind of stuff as with Magix. This software has been around a long time. You know, we're talking 20 years, Magix have been around doing software, so they know what they're doing. And uh, uh, it's got this typical sort of German engineering in it. Here's the manual, fairly um, kind of comprehensive in multiple languages. I didn't actually even need to uh, to view it. You can actually buy the software in this pack like this or just with um, just from the download so you have a choice. But I got this one to show you what the kind of box is. It has 300 presets already included in it for helping you to get rid of things like traffic noise and wind noise, water, I mean all sorts of presets which is one of the thing, reasons that it's so great. You can just try things and until they work and then your sound is better. It also of course does things like recording, straight editing and also of course conversion and export to various formats. But it's really the the cleanup process, especially if you're trying to transfer audio from other devices, whether it's phone or from old albums or cassettes or whatever it is, this is the tool to have without a doubt. This is the one. It's not cheap, but it's definitely worth the price if you're serious about audio. So now I'm just going to take a look at the actual interface and we'll run it through. Okay, so this is Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab. This is the interface you get when you fire up the software. And as you can see, we have some fairly um, generic wizard type buttons here. So you can set things up quite quickly in terms of the presets, um, which will be loaded and stuff just by clicking on one of these. In this case, we won't use this. We'll just load an audio file as, um, from scratch. And this is just a short clip of, of some stuff done in a an exhibition so as you can hear it's quite noisy um and if i was going to try and uh, remove all the background noise it's quite difficult to to hear the audio using this little tool it's very simple to get a much clearer sound from the voice and take away the background it's not you're not going to be able to get rid of the background completely because obviously it's quite loud so if I click on any of these drop down arrows I will get a selection of options which I can choose from old tape recording pop tape recorder pop and here under denoise I get quite a, a considerable set with things like camera noise and stuff like that and it makes it very easy to actually cycle your way through and just play with presets and see what you get and it's, that's one of the beauties of the of the, the package when you're trying to remove noise so in this case let me switch on denoiser and I know that in here there's some general noise right here I can take out things like hum exhibition murmur might be quite useful and then we can set the amount of intensity right there we also have a fine grain control here so we can actually start to play with it and most of the time what you'll end up doing is playing with the different settings and just trying it until it sounds pretty good so let's try this now. The way it works is it uses what's called an intuitive biofeedback loop, which is a bit of a mouthful. But effectively, um, the lighting system, we, we respond naturally to light. So what we're doing is not collating a bunch of data and giving it to you at the end of the run. I won't go through all the the options, but you can get it. Uh, you can see in the sample how far I got with it just by playing with all the different settings in terms of getting the the voice to be more enhanced and to remove the background. We also can go into the mastering area, which is again another 
um, excellent place to find options to improve the result so you can really try and, and test things and play around with things as much as you like and once you've finished of course you can do an export into WAV, mp3 etc there is a ton of stuff you can do with this program over and above simply just removing noise and stuff i mean it's it's incredibly powerful this little set of tools here on their own are, are i mean if you take this one for instance which is uh, it's just great if you're doing fine-tuned camcorder editing for sound you can draw your sound as you need to make it fit the video which is absolutely fantastic really cool you've got full undos of course and things like that there's a cleaning agent here which is a kind of a simple wizard again which you can you can apply filters step by step and test the original versus the result it's just a, an incredibly top class audio manipulation tool let me just do try one other little test here i've got a test of a file here which has this little squeaking this is audacity and if i just run just going to test i'm just testing this <clears throat> just testing this microphone to see whether it picks up uh, i don't know if you can you can hear there's a there's a slight amount of of crackle in the back of uh, buzz from the the mic and um, f uh, frequency problems and in audacity which is a great package i love audacity you know you do this by doing noise get a noise profile and then you access the whole thing and you apply the noise removal to the whole you could preview just going to test i'm just testing this <clears throat> and it actually works to a degree so you get a, a just going to test i'm just testing this <clears throat> just testing this microphone to see whether it picks up um it works to a degree but you can still hear if, if it's very bad i've had instances where it's really quite bad and it's just not going to take away that kind of background buzz so if i just punch in a new here's the same clip just going to test i'm just testing this <clears throat> just right so that's the same buzz and with this all i'm going to do is to do one button just going to test i'm just testing this <clears throat> just testing this microphone to see whether it picks up um any interference um from the system and it's gone and i haven't even tweaked or, or played around with it which i can do and, and make it even better just testing this <clears throat> just testing this microphone to see whether it picks up um any interference um from the for me that was the major i mean it was incredible i just when i found that that particular tool i was just blown away okay that's a quick look at magic's audio cleaning lab 2013 from my point of view it's a, it's a must-have tool if you have to do anything spectacular with audio in terms of cleaning up and removing things like wind noise etc as usual if you've enjoyed this video please like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff like this thanks very much mm -hmm.